Oh. Alright guys, we've uh, been down on the uh, Mad Baits Weekender but um, and we're down at the St Ives fishery and we've managed to get Gordy out to tell us about the fishery because there's lots changed over the years and there's like, big plans coming up and, and, and how it's progressing and turning into a top fishery again so um, we thought oh, we'll get Gordy out here and try and pick his brains and, and get the information out to you guys about the lake and obviously some of you have not even fished here before but only heard about it so We'll hear it from the man himself about the lake. Hi right, George, you alright? Um, how many complexes, how many lakes you got in this complex? There's nine, but um, two of them are pretty small and don't really get fish, so seven. Really. Seven, seven really? Seven, seven fishable ones, yeah. And, and we're on the lagoon at the moment, um, and there's a fair few originals still left in here, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, probably about 20 fish, 20 originals, Yeah. Um, up to 40 something, pig which hasn't been out in the past couple of years, but it's uh, more than likely, well, it's been seen, but it's been yeah. more than likely been hooked and lost, I'd imagine, over the past couple of years, which is why it's not, not actually been on the bank, but it is still in here. Uh, and uh, yeah, biggest common this season so far is 39, 12. And that's out of the lagoon, That's out of here, yeah. Yeah. Out of this swim here. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, what's the, um, the other seven then, what are the names of them? them got, you've got Meadow Lake, um, also known as the Sailing Lake, you've got um, Big Fjords, Little Fjords, um, Tricor, Shallow Pit, Long Reach, Andersons, Lowry's and Ivor. <laughs> so you've got you've got every style of fishing you want to do, you can... Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously big lakes up to, you know, Meadow and Fjords is all connected, it's like a hundred acres. Um, and then you've got Andersons and Ivor over there that, 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 that um, you know, more your traditional style, lots of lilies and islands yeah. and, yeah, lovely little lakes. We walked around a few of them yesterday and you could just keep wandering and, and just yeah. going to all nooks and crannies. Yeah, it take, takes, takes a good day to walk about. Yeah, yeah. On, on the big one. So the meadows is like, your, is that still your Star Lake, is it? Well, not really, no, Shallows is Star Lake. Shallows, is yeah, it? Yeah, if, yeah, if you want to call it that. It's got 340s in it. Colin did 50 in the spring. Uh, fish called Colin. Um, did 50 pound four. Uh, Dave Little had big head at 45 something. Some fish, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Laney's came out at 38. I think if it had come out earlier in the season, that would have been over. You know, it's, it's been up to 42, so I was expecting it to come out bigger, but it didn't come out until after it spawned. Yeah. That was 38, but it's got a good head of 30s in it. Most of, most of the other fish are all over 25. Um, Meadow's still like kind of a hard water, really, I and mean, I've been stocking it over the last seven years. Um, biggest stocky out is about 25, but you know they've they've been seen bigger, just not caught the usual stock. You know, it's a lot of water for 300 fish. You know, 300 fish sounds like like, like a lot, but you know, when you're in 100 acres, it's three an acre. It's not not a lot. Of water. There's been one or two nailing and nailing them. Though. There's one guy's had about 15 stockies out now to 23, 24. So, because that's what we was talking about yesterday, wasn't it? We were saying what was going to be what's really hard for fishermen nowadays. We've had all the you know the terrier and, and all the uh, the super fish, two tone all over the country. So we've got the history. We need to make a generation now for the for the next set of history for the young yeah. carp that's coming through, yeah, and it's yeah. that's obviously all down to people like you with you know, stocking programs and that, isn't yeah, it? You know, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've we've we've, we've put, put some nice fish in, um, fish from Anthony Sylvester, lots of scaly ones, yeah. which uh, well, lots of linears, you know, and there, there always used to be a lot of linears on site. Um, uh, so we've yeah we we, we stocked a load from him and a load from VS Fisheries as well. Uh, so there, yeah. So there's different styles of fishing here as well, then. Yes. Because and, and another thing I've noticed, uh, only the ones have gone round. Some of the lakes have gone round. You've got plenty of water to yourself, haven't you? It's not as though you know some of the complexes you like that all go next to each other. I mean, you've yeah. got yeah, acres. Yeah, I mean here. Yeah, I mean here. For instance, yeah, the lake's been filled up for the first time in a long while because of the social. Yeah. Um, but you know, I can't see anyone from this one. No. It's... You know, although there's there's you know there's what 20, 22, 25 on or whatever. Yeah, you know, you've all you've all got your own space, especially on the fjords and stuff. You know, you could probably get fifty anglers on there and you wouldn't see each other. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, there's all different style of lakes around here, and I mean, even even if you come down here on long sessions and that, like you've got toilets over the road and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah the bus station. Now that's the only yeah. good thing to come out of that. I think is the uh, hot and cold running water and a toilet. Yeah. yeah. So. Very useful. No, it's great. Right, I'm gonna go, we're gonna go now because we're gonna go and pick some of the guys' brains around there who's. Um, been and done things on different things but thanks a lot yeah cheers for that and uh catch good. you later